Most of the cryptocurrency market's key assets are decreasing, and XRP is no exception, having lost over 13% on the day, adding to a loss of nearly 20% on its weekly chart. But there are other causes for the token's crash. Then merely the market's gloomy mood. On August 17, the court in the lawsuit between blockchain company Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission granted the regulator's request for a motion for leave to file an interlocutory appeal. While addressing Judge Rakoff's decision regarding its triumph, Ripple has objected to the SEC's desire to pursue an interlocutory appeal. XRP, by the way, has continued to fall to critical support levels, enticing whale investors who have begun to accumulate additional coins. Also, what is the catch with SBI in Japan? The latest coin lending recruitment initiative for XRP from VC Trade finally, Fox correspondent Gasparino offers his thoughts on the future of XRP, claiming that Judge Torres' Ripple verdict was a joke. It should not be regarded as a victory for Ripple, but the key issue remains, is the future of XRP uncertain in light of the new turn of events? Stay with me till the end. To learn more, if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure to watch this new video right now. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we discuss the newest XRP news and the cryptocurrency world in general. If you are watching one of our videos for the first time, we would gladly offer you a special greeting. We encourage you to activate the notification bell so that you never miss any video. We are pleased to announce that this channel is hosting a 200 XRP giveaway. To be eligible, simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment with the hashtag XRP, and the winner will be announced. August 31st. Ripple Labs, a leading blockchain business, has. Ripple Labs, a leading blockchain firm, has filed an opposition to the SEC's anticipated interlocutory appeal move under Judge Annalisa Torres' summary judgment decision. Filed in opposition to the SEC's anticipated interlocutory appeal move under Judge Annalisa Torres' summary judgment decision. On August 16, seasoned attorney James K. Fillon shared a letter from Ripple urging the court to deny the SEC's anticipated move for leave to pursue an interlocutory appeal. The defendants argued against the appeal on three grounds. First, Ripple claimed that Judge Torr's summary judgment decision on July 13 did not include a decisive point of law. Second, the major blockchain company and its management contended that the SEC had failed to provide a substantial basis for a difference of opinion. Third, Ripple claimed that the SEC's instant appeal will not hasten the end of the dispute. It is worth noting that an interlocutory appeal happens when a court decision is challenged. While the lawsuit is still being heard, there are still outstanding issues in the Ripple litigation. The Securities and Exchange Commission's lawsuit against Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. Notably, the SEC accuses Garlinghouse and Larson of being careless in enabling Ripple to distribute XRP in this manner. Even though there are still unresolved problems, the SEC has asked for an interlocutory appeal in the action. The SEC intends to appeal Judge Torr's order on Ripple's programmatic XRP sales and other distributions. Meanwhile, the securities regulator will not appeal the decision on Ripple's XRP sales to institutional investors. It will also not make use of XRP's non-security status. Lawyers for Ripple suggested that the SEC should appeal the court's decision. Following a final decision, intra-district division in the Ripple judgment as witnessed in the SEC versus Terra action in an attempt to get its request authorized. As previously noted, the court hearing the Terra case, Court Jed Rakoff, disputed Judge Torr's logic in the Ripple ruling. Judge Rakoff rejected the logic, claiming that the Howey test does not distinguish between buyers in the same way that Torres did. As a result, the SEC used the order to seek approval for its interlocutory appeal. Eleanor Terrett, a Fox Business correspondent, emphasized Ripple's reaction to Judge Rykoff's judgment. Ripple claimed in its letter that its programmatic XRP sales differ from Terra's sales. Ripple Labs cited the SEC's lawsuit against it, and its founder launched a public campaign pushing retail and institutional investors to buy its cryptocurrency holdings. Judge Torres, on the other hand, 
determined in her summary judgment conclusion that Ripple made no assurances or offers to retail investors. During SRP programmatic sales, it went on to say that the Terra judge agreed with Judge Torres that digital asset sales are not fundamentally securities offers. The crypto community has reacted as expected to Ripple's resistance to the SEC's interlocutory appeal request. In response, pro-XRP lawyer John Deaton called Ripple's response excellent. However, he anticipates that Ripple's leadership would make stronger arguments in response to the request. Deaton stated that he would have predicted that Judge Torres would dismiss the SEC's appeal. Allowing the SEC to draft a formal motion will allow Torres to forward her case. Jeremy Hogan, an attorney, also reacted to the news, claiming that Ripple presented compelling points. He added that if the SEC's interlocutory order is filed in the matter, please subscribe to our channel and push the notification bell to be the first to get more updates. Regarding the most recent XRP developments, the fall of XRP from its yearly high of $0.98 has alarmed investors and community members. The fall of XRP from its yearly high of $0.98 has alarmed investors and community members. Despite these concerns, whale addresses have amassed additional tokens as the asset falls below significant support levels. In a recent piece, Santiment noted that XRP is one of the only crypto assets that has seen an uptick in whale activity despite a downward trend. Sentiment confirmed in a report that whale transactions on the XRP network have resumed despite the price decline. These trades, according to the report, do not always indicate whale buildup. Notably, the increased whale activity may be the result of purchases or sell-offs. However, it is unlikely that wealthy addresses are declining despite a 16.8% dip. Sentiment noted that when an asset falls in value, these whales tend to amass more tokens. Surprisingly, this surge in whale activity occurred on August 13 after a long period of inactivity. As a result, according to Samant, the number of XRP whale transactions valued at least $100,000 has increased to 22. Furthermore, the network has witnessed one whale transaction worth more than $1 million. Furthermore, findings supplied by CRU Analysis, a cryptocurrency analysis tool, align with sentiment's data. According to the CRU analysis, XRP has continued to print higher lows every week in June 2022. The analytical platform emphasized that this was evidence of long-term accumulation by institutional investors. Remember that CryptoBasic revealed last month that XRP investment products saw a significant surge in inflows. The latest legal clarification granted to XRP has increased institutional interest, as investors who feared regulatory difficulties can now obtain the asset. Furthermore, Phoenix, another cryptocurrency-focused analytical website, stated that XRP is one of several assets now in accumulation. Meanwhile, XRP has fallen below $0.60. Psychological Assistance at the time of writing, the asset is trading at $0.05,892, down 2.12% in the last 24 hours and 8% in the last week. Mikkel van de Poppen, a well-known analyst, had identified entry possibilities between $0.00 and $6,033 and $0.00 and $5,663. In addition, in a recent tweet, SBI Venture Capital Trade. SBI VC Trade just announced a coin lending recruitment initiative that includes XRP and four other notable cryptocurrencies in a tweet. Announced a coin lending recruitment campaign that will include XRP and four other notable cryptocurrencies. Notably, the coin recruitment campaign implies that the exchange is looking for cryptocurrency investors to lend their coins for a profit. According to the organization, in this situation, investors are offering their coins to SBI VC Trade. Furthermore, the company stated that this service is intended for long-term cryptocurrency holders. SBI VC Trade aims to provide long-term cryptocurrency holders with usage or rental fees based on the token distributed and its lifespan.
While the Japanese trading platform provides lending services for more than 18 cryptocurrencies, the current lending aim is five assets. These are XRP, Bitcoin, DOGT Sowain, Stellar Lumens, and DAI, a stablecoin. The application window will open today at 8 o'clock p.m. Japan time, according to the release. The application will be closed on August 31, and the lending service will be available until September 28. Furthermore, the notification stated that all five lendable digital assets are subject to a 0.1% tax. Notably, this is not the first time SBIVC Trade has undertaken a campaign in favor of XRP. As previously reported, the platform previously organized a summertime XRP festival to increase XRP's presence in Japan. The platform offered the XRP promotion for spot and futures markets, as well as its contract for difference, CFD, trading suite, according to the article. When participating in XRP-based leveraged trading, participants might gain up to 100 XRP. Interestingly, SBI Chairman Yoshitaka Kitao previously stated that XRP investors could expect significant returns if XRP wins its lawsuit. With the new turn of events, is the future of XRP uncertain? Now for the big question of the day, is the future of XRP questionable in light of recent events? Please remember to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell to be the first to receive new updates regarding the most recent XRP developments. XRP has remained a topic of debate in the crypto world. Charles Gasparino, a Fox Business correspondent, recently opined on the asset's future. His report criticized Judge Annalisa Torres' XRP judgment, prompting various complaints from community members. Gasparino, a longtime XRP critic, called Judge Torres' judgment that XRP is not security of farce. He went on to say that Judge Jed Rakoff affirmed this. Rakoff, in particular, is the presiding judge in the Terra case. In the ruling, the federal judge, as previously reported, rejected Judge Torres' argument. Gasparino stated that retail XRP investors should not view Torres' decision as a major victory for Ripple and XRP. Court rulings are mixed, he stated, cautioning market participants against purchasing XRP. According to the reporter who made the claim, his information is always correct, however, the future of XRP is dubious. My reporting and the court judgments are contradictory, so buyer beware, my reporting is always correct. That his previous concerns about the AMC and FNMA assets were correct. He noticed that the AMC token plummeted dramatically, as predicted. Similarly, the FNMA sank when he warned them. So, gentlemen, we've reached the end of this video. If you liked it, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. This is quite beneficial to my understanding of the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others in the same way that you have been enlightened by sharing this video with as many people as possible. Let's spread the word, guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency enthusiast, don't miss any of our stuff. We'll see you tomorrow to discuss the newest developments. That is something that affects the entire community.